So the sauna is heating up again. It's a little over 100 degrees Fahrenheit in here and climbing. And earlier this week, I had a little bit of an accident. I cleaned out the water tank that we use for dumping steam on the stones. When I did that, I set a ladle on the rocks. And when I came back and lit the stove, the next time we used the sauna, I forgot about that. And this was the result. Now, this ladle was a thrift store find anyway. It had already been repaired once with epoxy when it cracked. The handle was a little too short. You'd sometimes get burned when you dump steam down the rocks. And so I really wanted to build a new one anyway. This just expedited the urgency of that project. So I dug through my shorts pile and found a nice piece of cherry that was wide enough and thick enough to allow me to cut a nice deep ladle bowl. Now, I have made spoons in the past using primarily hand tools, but I'd been wanting to tackle a pseudo 3D project like this on my CNC machine anyway, and with a bowl this big, it was a good enough excuse for me to be lazy. I didn't want to spend that long with gouges and hooked knives. Just thinking about it makes my fingers hurt. The software I use is an older version of vCarve Pro, which is really just 2D software. That allowed me to play engineer, use SketchUp in a spreadsheet, and do a little, okay, high school, math to figure out the toolpaths. I used a half inch straight bit to rough out the bowl shape, as well as cut out the profile of the spoon bowl and handle. Then I used a two inch ball end mill to cut the finish paths. You can see my software animating the toolpaths here with half the model cut away to make it easier to see what's going on inside the bowl. I have to say, it sure is a fast and accurate way to hollow out a large spoon bowl. Even if some of you have dismissed me as a heretic and switched back to watching Mr. Chickadee. The side profile of the spoon I just sketched out roughly by hand with the help of a yogurt container that just happened to have the right diameter. With that done, I used my band saws to finish roughing out the spoon blade. I used the 18 inch saw, which has a one inch resaw blade for making the bigger cuts. Then I switched to using my 14 inch band saw, which has a quarter inch blade for the more detailed cuts. Then it was back to the big band saw for a few final cuts. I tapered the top of the bowl a bit just to improve the dipping angle of the spoon and I tilted the table to 45 degrees to knock off some of the bulk of the material on the underside of the bowl. From this point forward, the purists in the audience will be happy to learn that it's all hand tool work to shape the outside of the spoon. The bulk of the material I removed using a draw knife. You can see that I had to get a bit creative with my clamping. The hold fast on my workbench worked quite well, but I found it helpful to cushion those using a rubber sanding pad to keep the clamps from crushing the workpiece too much. I doubt you'll be surprised to hear that at some point, I really want to make a shaving horse with a spoon mule attachment. So I guess you can expect some videos about that at some point. I also found my face vise very useful for certain operations again with that sanding pad for cushioning. Once the roughing out was done with the draw knife, I switched to using my spoke shaves for finer shaping. I really like this flat soled Lee Nielsen spoke shave, but in a few concave areas, I had to use another spoke shave I have, which has a curved convex blade. The entire process wasn't too bad. It took maybe an hour to fine tune the outer shape of the spoon, and then it was on to sanding. and more sanding, which I also did by hand. I guess it's cheaper than therapy. I drilled a small hole in the handle through which we'll thread a leather lanyard so we can hang the spoon on a peg by the water tank in the sauna. Finally, I applied a mineral oil finish with the spoon bowl itself, making a handy container to hold the finish as I applied it.
So there we have it. One new and improved solid cherry sauna ladle with a nice long handle. It should work. As always, thanks for watching.